What is up guys, my name is Talha and you are watching Gadgets Sphere. In today's video, I am gonna do the full review of the Pixel Experience Plus running in the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So as you guys can see, this is the latest version of the Android 12 ROM which is running in this smartphone. And let's just talk about what are the things which are amazing. But first of all, this is the build number. As you guys can see, this is the Pixel Experience Suite Q12 1 whatever. So this is the 12.1 actually, Android 12.1 and there are some things which are absolutely awesome like this smartphone is performing absolutely great in this room let's just talk about the smoothness it is way smoother than miui like open any app you want and you will feel the smoothness it has really the 120 hertz is working all the times without any problem and that is one of my favorite things in most of the other smartphone custom rooms the 120 hertz doesn't work that great but in this one it is very very smooth Whatever you do is just absolutely smooth. Scrolling on Chrome is also very nice and smooth and snappy. Now let's just talk about some other features of this room. So if you go in this quick setting, you guys can see we have a lot of toggles. You go in edit and here we have a lot of toggles. Let's just talk about them. First of all, we have sound amplifier. Now this is basically a combination of like Dolby Atmos or something like that. It just amplifies the sound and makes it a little better. And then we have the recorder app. Like this is the recorder, you know, you just have to tap here and it is there. There you go. Now, if you go back, just tap on back and now we have the recorder. What does the recorder do? If you tap on the recorder, it says like it will auto transcript. Let's see. Is it actually working? Is the auto transcription actually working? And the answer is no, it isn't. But the audio quality it records is actually almost of very high professional grade quality all the time. So that's what I love. And then let's just talk about one more thing. One more special feature we have here is this AOD. That is, as we all know, always on display. So if you go in this, go back. And now if you tap on on, you turn off the device and there you go. You have this always on display. Now, these are some basic features, which, you know, many people think like, hey, it's not that necessary. It is actually very necessary for day to day use when you are actually using a smartphone a lot. Then we have live caption, we have sound uh, notification, live transcription that is not working by the way in this room. So that's one thing. And then we have, uh, you know, we have a lot of things here. Absolutely everything is working. Some things don't, but I'm going to tell you which things don't work in this video. So now let's just talk about the customization aspect of this room. So you just have to tap and hold, tap on home settings. And here we have the home launcher. And once you go in about, you know that this is none other than the Pixel Launcher, which is in a lot of other smartphones. Then we have to go here, go in wallpaper and style. And here you can just customize a lot of things. You can tap on themed icons, which basically means your icons are going to be themed. They look absolutely awesome right now. So this is one thing you can do. Then you can go back one more time, go in wallpaper and styles. And then you can actually change the accent color. So let's just tap on this. There you go. Everything is now pink. So these are some little touches which make Android 12 a lot more greater, the 12.1. And now the Android 13 is even better. So that is one thing you need to know. And overall, the themed icons are working absolutely fine. We have no problem there. So it's working. That's one thing. And then let's just see how well the cameras work. So obviously, I haven't made a video about how to install a Gcam on this room. But if you want a video about the best Google camera for the Redmi Note 10 Pro, make sure you comment down below. So in terms of the normal basic camera app that this room provides, it is there and it works really nice. Like yeah, you can take a couple of pictures here. You can uh, you can switch to the front camera as well. So it does work and it's really good. It's nothing groundbreaking or the best, but it just works at times really nice. We have, what do we have there? We have HDR mode. Let's try HDR mode for the first time in this room. There you go. It took a little bit of time and the image is actually really good. Let's take one more. Here also we can test the HDR because you know, we have the highlights, the shadows and the highlights, everything is there. So let's see how well the image came. And actually, surprisingly, it's very bad. Like, look at the level of noise we have in this. So that is one thing. But yeah, you know, we can obviously just get a Google camera or Gcam. I'm going to make a video about how to install a Gcam in this. And then you can get way better quality than we are getting right now. In terms of the battery life, it's really nice. I haven't used this much. So in my full review, I'll talk about the battery life. But it's really good in terms of digital well-being. Today, I just used it three minutes. Like, man, come on. <laughs> 
and then we have you know usual android 12 features in display we have adaptive brightness we have in lock screen we have all the contents and these are basic features of android 12 which we have in every other room then we have auto brightness tap to wake is a very good feature and tap to sleep is also very good so if you double tap it's not gonna sleep so you have to actually double tap the status bar of your smartphone to make it sleep then double tap to wake now this is also a very good feature the status bar tapping is not that great i wish they would have provided you know double tapping on the home screen anywhere to sleep but that is sadly not present we have the google feed the google feed is also very responsive and it's not lagging as it should like i mean it did in miui roam so these are some subtle improvements it's actually a good roam to install in this that's my opinion and my review what do you think tell me in the comments below make sure you subscribe my channel for more videos like this i will see you in the next one peace out